began convulsing, uh, lifting his head and his chest off of the gurney, even mumbling a few times. All right, let's go to Oklahoma now. We're an execution that should have only taken minutes, however, um, was something far different. Clayton Lockett's veins exploded. He began convulsing, eventually dying of a heart attack 40 minutes after the first dose of the lethal injection was administered. He was convicted of killing a woman with a sawed-off shotgun and standing by as accomplices buried her alive. Now this, the first time that the state used a new lethal injection combination after the previous one became unavailable. The state immediately halted all future executions pending an investigation. Two hours later, convict Charles Warner also scheduled to die. Now, here where, here's where this is a little tricky, and I got to tell you, I, I think I want this both ways, and, and you guys tell me why I'm wrong. This man accused and convicted of raping and murdering an 11-month-old girl. His ex execution halted. Now, I'm not defending Oklahoma here. They wouldn't even reveal the chemicals that were involved in it. Um, I'm opposed um, to the death penalty. I know that innocent people are on death row. But does it make me a hypocrite to say, you know that guy that did that to that little kid? Can I have it both ways? Um, can we pick certain people, certain circumstances that are should be eligible for the death penalty? Treason, somebody who's serving a life sentence who kills a CO. Can you make certain exceptions, like that piece of garbage, to say, I know it's a flawed system, but I'll take my chances. We already do that. Not every crime is punishable by the death penalty. The, the state legislatures make a determination as to which, which crimes in their jurisdiction are going to be punishable. But that's where I get in trouble, Bill, because then we give discretions to states, and some states like Texas say, hey, you know what, uh, fry this guy, that guy, and the other guy. Look, Unlike uh, New York, which doesn't do any. Look, I, I, think, I think the whole concept of, of, of capital punishment is deplorable. I think it's cruel and inhuman treatment. What happened in this situation speaks loudly to that fact. But the bottom line is an answer to your question, whether it be the federal, whether it be Congress or the state legislature, those are the people that make the laws and they get to determine what the penalty is for each crime. So that we already do that. I don't think you can get away from... I guess from where I get a little queasy is when I leave it up to state by state, you have 50 different legislatures coming up with 50 different rules on it. And I'm not comfortable with how free and easy Texas is, but at the same end, I see what that guy did, and I know I, I'm, uh, I want it both ways, Jimmy, but I, got, I look at Charles Warner and I see what he did, and I, I, don't, I wouldn't lose any sleep if he was put to death. Understood, and this is what tests our tolerance to, to the limit uh, in a case like this. But no, you don't want it both ways. You know, you don't want to take that chance. Are you willing to have it that way? Are you willing to say, I don't mind if innocent people are executed because this guy is going to be executed? We have no business executing people. We just don't. We have no business being in the company of the most barbaric countries in the world, of which there are still so many, so few of those left. You give them life in prison, as hard a life in prison as you want to give, you don't execute people because your system simply isn't effective. You, you feel the same way? Personally? That's, I'm not asking you personally, professionally. Yes, personally. I mean, I just don't think until you get it perfect, you can do it. And, um, I mean, this guy may be karma, he gets what he deserves, but you can't have individual cases telling a society what to do. You have to get a plan, and it doesn't sound like the plan you know, is working. I, I understand he was, he was tried and he was convicted. There have been countless people yep. who were tried and convicted only to be, f only it was determined later on We've from new evidence. We've talked about it at this that very they table. Really yep. were, they were sure. not guilty of what they, so this guy here, you know, maybe, he, maybe, Five years from now, we'll find yep. out that he's not guilty. All right. This next um, case and the highest court of land is hearing it right now. I'm fascinated to get your takes on cops and cell phones. Should the police be able to search your phone while you're under arrest? It's a topic, as I said, the Supreme Court's wrestling with right now. We're gonna, when we come back, we'll get into the table's talk on it as well.